Look, everyone, it's the ASCII table. Man, that thing sure is iconic. It's more iconic than icons. Um, but how's it work? Well, we know that the characters that we type on the keyboard and that show up on the screen are represented in the computer as bits. So we're going to take this ASCII table and basically convert bits into characters. Um, let's do this one right here. I'm going to split this up into two because the way this particular ASCII table is structured with the rows and columns, it's got uh, four digits for rows and four digits for columns. And we're going to do this just like you do any other table where you have a row and a column, you find the point of intersection and read off the piece of information that you're looking for. So, 0100. Zero, zero. We're going to look over here and we see 0100. Zero, zero. And then the second half is 0001, zero, 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 which we find here in the second column. So the point of intersection of those two is the capital letter A. Capital letter A corresponds to this. So when we type in an A, um, it's stored internally in the computer like this. Um, one thing to point out here is that we're really only using, when we talk about ASCII, the top half of this table. There are 128 different characters, and this was, the standard was formulated, I uh, believe, in the early 1960s. Um, obviously, since then, we need a lot more symbols than that. Uh, but the basic package is right here. It's got uh, your capital letters, your lowercase letters, numbers, very few symbols, and these strange guys up here. What are these? These are called control characters. They don't actually show up on the screen necessarily, but uh, they have a function. So CR is carriage return, that's when you hit the enter key. Um, BS would be backspace. SB would be system bell, which is, you know, the little ding sound that the computer makes. All of these were originally encoded in the ASCII table like this. Now we've got a bottom half here. This is the extended ASCII character set. It adds one more bit gone from 7 bits to 8 bits. And you can see that bit over here, the leftmost column. If it's off, aka 0, we're in the standard ASCII table. If it's on, aka 1, we're in the extended ASCII table. Now this isn't quite the same as far as standardization goes. In fact, you can tell what kind of computer I'm using by looking right here at 11110000. You see a little apple with the uh, byte taken out of it. If I were running a Windows computer, the extended ASCII character set would be different. Some of it would be the same, but a lot of it would be different. I'm fairly certain this apple would be here. However, the standard ASCII character set would be the same. And there are other standards too, like Unicode, um, which extends the character set quite a bit. But uh, this is the basic ASCII table.